Hey guys, Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a kettlebell hit challenge. So what you need for today is your kettlebell and I suggest a mat because we will be on the floor. If you don't have a mat, just grab something comfortable to lie on. So go ahead, grab what you need and let's get started. Let's start this workout with a warm up. So inhale those arms up, exhale, bend the knees, sweep the floor and bring it up. Inhale, hinging forward. So you're pushing that butt back, bending through the knees. Nice deep breaths in and out. Good, let's get that core activated. So belly button pulled in. A lot of kettlebell work is core. So we wanna have a nice strong center. Three. One more. Good, reach it to the back wall, come up on the toe. We're stretching out through the back. Good, nice and long, four, three, and one. Let's come right up to our kettlebell, get it right between our feet, toes pointing forward. We're gonna hinge at our hips, push our butt back, keep your tummy in, don't let your butt Pull out, you wanna pull it in. Come on down, grab that kettlebell. Lift into a deadlift, let's pull those elbows in. Straight back, push your hips forward. Inhale. Five more. Five, four, Last one, good. We're gonna go around the world. So feet, hip width apart, grab onto the kettlebell with one hand. You're gonna pass it across the body, bring it behind you, switching hands. Make sure you get a full grip on that kettlebell. You don't wanna let it go and have it go flying. Strong core, three. Good, hold center. We're gonna go the other direction, so you're just gonna pass it behind the body. Good job. All right, so we're gonna go into this workout. We have five circuits today. Each circuit's gonna start out with 20 swings, but it'll be a variety of different types of swings and stop, good. Flip that kettlebell, holding on to the handles, tuck the elbows in. Let's go into some halos. So you wanna bring that around the head to center, then reverse directions. Alternating side to side. All right, so after our swings in our circuit, we're gonna be doing 20 burpees. And you can do them low impact, you can walk them out if you prefer, or if you're feeling energetic, you're gonna do those full burpees. Then we'll have three kettlebell exercises and move on to our next circuit. Three, two, last one. All right, we're gonna flip that kettlebell over, take our feet a little bit wider, toes out. We're gonna bend the knees, double hand clean, drop. So you're just gonna pop up that kettlebell, hold on to the side of the handles, drop it down. Good, lift, drop, down. Good. Still just warming up. Three more. Two. Last one. We're going to drop that kettlebell down and just do some stretches. So heel in front of you, push your butt back and lift. Other side. Stretching all the way through the back of the thighs, into the calves and into our glutes. Two more. Last one. Take a nice big step out to this side, touch the floor, come center, other side. Good. Inner thigh stretch.
You got 10 seconds left of this warm up. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, like I said, we're starting each circuit with 20 swings. So the first one's gonna be a double handed swing. Place that kettlebell in front of you, a couple feet in front of you. Your feet are wide enough so that you can get that kettlebell between your legs, all right? And that kettlebell really comes right in between your legs. Your hands are together, pulling them in. We're gonna go into a deadlift to start. So you hinge forward, tummy strong, grab onto that kettlebell, roll it onto the side, swing it in and out. Let's not come any higher than shoulder height. Push through those hips. You got 10 more, 10. Three more, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down and we're gonna go into burpees. So we've got 20 burpees. Option one, you're gonna take it down, walk it out, come back up, Reach your hands up. Option two, you're gonna come out. And if you wanna hop at the top, you can. If you don't wanna have a hop, if you just wanna come up to a stand, that's fine. Are you ready to go? Here we go. One. We're halfway, 10 more. Six, five, three. Last one. Woo! Good job, we're coming down to the floor. Grab that kettlebell. All right, let me just turn my speaker. We're gonna bring that kettlebell down to the floor with us, grabbing onto the handles. All right, we're going to go into a pullover. Tuck the elbows in, pull the tummy in, and drop those rib cage to the floor. All right, don't let the rib cage pop up. So we're hinging back, elbows in, touch to the floor, bring it back to center, then press up. Good. We've got 10 here. How you doing? We have two more. Keep it going. Last one. Pressing up. Good, bring that kettlebell beside you, place it on the floor and come up to a stand. We're gonna do some rack squats. So we're gonna rack it on the right first, then we'll rack it on the left. So to do that, we have to go into a clean. Place that kettlebell in front of you. Counter pointing in towards you, okay? Toes forward, we're going to Come down with a nice hinge. Grab onto that kettlebell with your hand pointing outwards. Then you give it a bit of a swing. Bring it around. Make sure that your wrist is right over top of your elbow. Tuck it in. Good. We're going to go into a squat here for 10. So we push that butt back. One. Come 
come as low as you can. So you got four more. Three, two, one more. Good job. All right, place that kettlebell back on the floor. Getting ready for the other side. Take that hand, give it a swing into your clean. Make sure you slow down and this kettlebell goes over your hand. Arm out, here we go, down. Two more. Get low. Whoo, good job. All right, kettlebell down. Quick break, we're gonna alternate swings. So same thing as the double-handed, so we're gonna go single hand switch, single hand switch. Place that kettlebell in front of you. All right, moving on to the second circuit. We're gonna take our feet wide, grabbing onto that kettlebell with one hand. Start with your right. Pull the kettlebell towards you. Lock in the belly, give it a swing and switch at the top, all right? So you're just grabbing on with the other hand, still doing that deadlift for that swing. Ten more. Good, place that kettlebell down, getting ready for the burpees. So 20 burpees, you choose your style. We go in three, two, and here it is. Onto that kettlebell, feet on the floor, belly in. Whew. Elbows tucked in, here we go. One, press up. Two more. Last one. You've got this. Press it up. Bring that kettlebell beside you. Come on up to a stand. Okay, we're gonna go into a clean and press. So start with that kettlebell in front of you. Handle pointing in, grab on with that hand pointing away. Good, nice strong back. And bring it up. Then we go into our press. So make sure you've got that wrist over your elbow. Tuck it nice and strong, bend the knees. Give it a press. And we're gonna go into a swing. Two. Three. Breathe.
Four more. Last two, you've got this. Two. And one. Let's lower that kettlebell down to the floor. We're switching sides. Good, catch your breath. Take a break if you need to. If you need a longer rest than I, you can always pause the video. All right, get that kettlebell in place. Come on down. Nice straight back, slight bend in the knees. Hips back, here we go, swing it, and press. Good, roll it over into that swing, roll it around, and press it up. Five more. Last one. Whew, nice work, guys. Drop it down. Little rest. All right, we're gonna go 10 swings on the right, 10 swings on the left. So, single arm swings. We're on circuit three. We got three to go. So, kettlebell in front of you. Standing back about two feet. Hinge at the hips. Straight back, belly in, grab on with your right hand, left hand's gonna go on your low back. All right, roll that kettlebell towards you. Swing it up, one, two. Good, lower it down. You gotta go the other side, so hinge forward, grab onto that kettlebell, swing it in, one, And lower it down. Burpees for 20. Work at your own pace. You can do this. We've got 20 burpees. Here we go. Halfway. 10 more. Four more. Two. And one. Oh. Come to the floor. Pull over, press up. Oh. Bring it down. Grab your kettlebell. Hold on to that handle. Bell pointing towards you. Locking your core, elbows tucked in. Here we go. Lift, press. Last one. Whew. Good job. Kettlebell to the side. We'll roll it over. Come on up to a stand. Get that kettlebell in front of you. 
So we're going to go into a clean and press, and we're gonna leave that kettlebell up in that press position. All right, are you ready? Come on down. Clean, press. Now I'm gonna step back all the way down. One. One more. Good, bring it down and release it to the floor. We gotta do the other side. How are you guys doing? This is a tough one. All right, here we go. Clean, press. Let's step back. Five more. One more. Good, bring it back into that clean position. Drop it to the floor. Go ahead, grab some water. We're moving on, two more to go. Last two circuits. So we're gonna go back to a double-handed swing for this one. Grab that kettlebell, place it in front of you, standing back, you know what to do now. So we're hinging at the hips, bringing it forward, knees bent, roll it towards you, and here we go for one. Five more, five. Good, drop that kettlebell forward. Getting ready for burpees, we've got 20. I know these are tough, push through, all right? We're burning calories, here we go. Halfway, 10 more. Come on, let's go, let's go. Push. Four. Three. Don't give up. Two. Oh. Good job, guys. To the floor. Kettlebell comes in. Take a moment to catch that breath. All right, lock that core in place, push it back into the floor, holding on to the kettlebell, drop it back, press. Last one. Good, slowly roll it to this side. Come up, we're gonna do some rows. So split stance rows. Place that kettlebell in beside your left foot. You're gonna step back with the right into a high lunge position, hinging at your hips. Come on down, grab that kettlebell, and we're gonna row it up for 10. 10. Tuck that elbow in beside you. Three. Two more. 
Good, lower it down. Come up, we're gonna do the other side. We're almost done. This is a tough challenge, I know it is. You're doing great, all right. Get it in beside the right foot. Up on the toe in the back leg, bend the knee, front knee, hinge forward, grab onto that kettlebell. Nice straight back, here we go, row it up, 10. Six, five, three, two, and one. Drop that kettlebell down. Catch your breath, last circuit. We're gonna do alternating hand swings. 20 burpees. So you gotta find all the energy you got left for this one. I want you to push to the end. So right when those burpees start to feel like you can't do anymore, Keep pushing, you can do it, I know you can, you're strong. All right, get that kettlebell in front of you. Stand back, feet wide. Hinge at your hips, grab that kettlebell, swing it in. Switch, two. Keep that core strong. Halfway. Good, kettlebell down, burpees 20. I know these are the killers. Are you ready to go? Yes, go as hard as you can. In three, two, one, here we go. Five more. Whew. Last one. to the side roll it up last two exercises split leg deadlift split stance so kettlebell in beside your left foot Whew. let me gather myself here all right you're up on the toe in the back leg it's back slightly your knees are gonna stay bent you're hinging at the hips you nice strong core you're gonna grab that kettlebell push through the hips and squeeze at the top good don't come down with straight legs. You wanna protect those joints. But hinging, so that's pushing that butt back. One more. 
Good, drop it. Switching sides, last exercise, guys. Are you ready for this? Get it inside that right foot, up on the toe and the back leg. Bend through those knees. Hinge forward, grab onto that kettlebell. Squeeze through your glutes. One more. And 10, lower it down, lift it up. Nice work, that was a tough challenge. Make sure you guys stick around for a stretch. I put a link in the description below for a post-workout stretch for you, so feel free to go on down there and check it out. All right guys, stay safe, I'll see you on the next one.